Hello friends, welcome back to the Chanel, it's Leilani. Alrighty, so in my last vlog, I announced to you guys that I have a move coming up. And actually at the time that I'm filming this, I am moving tomorrow. I don't know how I'm alive right now. I'm a little disheveled, I'm gonna be honest. You can see one of my suitcases here in the background. I have just been packing nonstop, and of course I've been vlogging the process. And as I promised, I said I'd be giving more details on the move and I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to include it in my moving vlog that I've been filming the past couple of days. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this move is kind of a big deal to me. I'm not just moving to a different neighborhood, a different state. It's another international move. And the last time I moved countries was when I was leaving Japan, moving back here to the US. And I did make a whole separate video kind of explaining that huge news. So you know what, for nostalgia's sake, I thought we'd go ahead and make a similar kind of video. So I thought I'd go ahead and sit down and actually explain my whole thought process on this move and just kind of fill you guys in on the loop because I know some of you guys have really been here for my entire journey when I started making YouTube videos in 2020. 20 when I was living in Tokyo and in December of 2021 I announced to you guys that I was moving back home to California and I was honestly so worried that none of you guys would stick around because I know that the audience that I built up until that point was interested in my life in Japan so I wasn't sure how many of you guys were going to stick around for the plot and join me on my California adventure but to my amazement and surprise my channel actually grew so much after I moved here to California California, and I honestly have to say because you guys have always just stuck by my side and been so supportive I kind of had the confidence to do this move as well, but I won't keep you guys waiting any longer I'll be announcing where I'm moving to a lot of you guys have already guessed, but I am moving to Italy <laughs> If y'all have been following this channel for a while now, you would know that this is where my boyfriend is from. But this was a huge decision for me and it was not an easy one to make, so I'll just kind of get into the backstory and explain how this all came to be. As y'all know, I met my boyfriend when we were living in Japan and then the pandemic Lovato hit. So for obvious reasons, we could not be traveling during that time. And I moved to Japan kind of having the understanding that I would go back to California at least once a year to visit my family. So not having that option really wore me down. I was missing family and home so much. And I think likewise on his part, I think he was really missing Italy. So we moved into an apartment together that had a one year lease contract. And we both made an agreement to that after that contract was done, we're both moving back to our respected home countries. So I moved back home here and he moved back to Italy. And in summer of 2022, last year, I visited him in Italy for the first time ever. That was my first time in Europe. Of course, the main reason for visiting was to see my boyfriend who I had not seen in like seven months at that point. But that trip was also kind of a test round and a way for me to gauge how I felt being in Italy, if I could see myself potentially moving there because I feel like with long distance, you always have to have a goal of somehow ending up back together or else it's just not gonna work. And because I have a lot of flexibility with my job since I do YouTube full time, I decided to stay there six entire weeks and it was so much fun. I made a couple travel vlogs while I was there. I saw so many beautiful cities within Italy and I really enjoyed Southern California. Southern California. <laughs> and I especially enjoyed Southern Italy, which is where he's from and where we're gonna be moving to. And as much fun as it was, that's not to say that I did not totally struggle while I was there. I wasn't expecting it, but I got extremely homesick, at least in the beginning. I think a lot of that was due to the fact that I haven't even been home for an entire year yet. And I don't know, just something about the lockdowns and everything really did something to my brain. So when I finally came home and got to be with my entire family again, I did not want to let go. Like I was not ready to move at that point. So that trip in many ways was pretty difficult. I was facing a lot of emotions that I was not expecting. And by the time that trip was over, I was honestly really excited to come back home. I think it was also just a lot of culture shock. I do not speak Italian <laughs> because I couldn't communicate. 
I just felt a little out of control and I realized that I had to rely on my boyfriend so, so much. Thank God he's an incredible person and super supportive, but I just don't like that feeling when I have to really depend upon other people. So that's something I've really had to work through and something that I'm definitely still gonna have to work on once I move there because we're gonna have to do so much stuff. We're gonna have to get all these things set up and I know I'll be having to rely on him quite a bit. So that is a mental block that I'm just gonna try to push through. <laughs> and this was not an easy decision to come to. Me and my boyfriend have discussed so many different options. We have brainstormed pretty much everything. We have discussed possibly moving here to California. It's just way too freaking expensive, hence why I've been living with my parents the past two years. Absolutely no way in hell that I would be paying Southern California rent, no. Not in this economy, babes. Like literally right when I moved back, inflation shot through the roof. So at least for right now, moving here just didn't seem like the most optimal decision. Of course, I would love to stay closer to home and have my support network of my friends and family because we're all here in San Diego. But ultimately we did decide that Southern Italy is gonna be the best option for us for at least now until we figure out the next adventure we're gonna take in life. We're not married to the idea of settling and staying in Italy forever. Obviously everything is subject to change. I don't know where we're gonna be in like two years from now but in the meantime i'm getting really excited for this brand new chapter i feel like it's gonna be a whole new era it's definitely gonna be quite the transition <laughs> a very lengthy process so i'm excited to be vlogging all of that and sharing it with you guys though and i know we're all human here so everyone's gonna have their own opinion on this move but i will say that it has taken me two years to come to this decision like honestly this was one of the most difficult decisions i think i've ever had to make in my life. The main block or I guess hurdle that was keeping me from making my decision was just leaving my friends and family. I think since moving back to California, I have just gotten so much closer with some of my friends that I've known since like middle school, elementary school. Our friendships have just really deepened. And obviously same goes with my sister. I do consider her my best friend. I've also finally gotten the chance to get to know her boyfriend better. I consider him a really close friend now as well. And don't even get me started on how much I'm gonna miss Kona. We jokingly called him my roommate because he's Slept in my room every single night and I'm just gonna miss my little companion and y'all know this entire time I've been living here with my parents and I oh my god here we go I've been crying every single day so I kind of knew that I was gonna choke up a little bit <laughs> This was just the first time that I've lived with my parents for a prolonged period of time like this since high school. Like I moved out in college and I would come back home for, you know, summer break, Christmas. But then after college, I just went straight back to Japan. So I think during that time, I really started to understand how important these intimate personal relationships are. So for the longest time, I did not want to let that go. So I definitely started to feel really comfortable here. <laughs> so tomorrow is gonna be quite the travel day. I know emotions are gonna be very high, <laughs> but all in all, I am so excited to reunite with my boyfriend. We did not expect to do long distance this long. And I was actually re-watching that video I made when I was leaving Japan because I have not watched that video since I uploaded it, but the way I was talking about my boyfriend and leaving him like actually made me cry. So I'm just, I'm just really, really excited for us because I feel like we're really gonna start our lives together again. So yeah, I don't want this video to get too, too long. So I think I'll just end it there. I also have some more packing to do anyway and I have to say my last goodbyes. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me this entire journey. I hope to see you in Italy as well. I just really can't thank you guys enough. Your support and encouraging comments just really give me the strength to take on new adventures like this. So thank you. Fingers crossed that we'll have have safe travels tomorrow and after this you guys will be seeing the entire moving vlog so look forward to that well all right guys see you in italy <laughs> ciao